Anime, Japanese animation. Thousands of anime fans across the world unite on the internet today. Even though it is watched globally, most people do not know that anime films produced after the Pearl Harbor and Hiroshima bombings were correlated with World War II. Did you know there were anime films from 1943 and 1945 which are directly based off of World War II? Here's a quick summary of World War II. In 1941, to stop Japan's aggressive pursuit of land, President D. Roosevelt announced a trade embargo on oil. Japan then bombed Pearl Harbor in December 1941, instigating America to declare war on Japan the next day. America used the atomic bomb on Hiroshima in August 1945, and Japan surrendered one month later. Due to Japan's post-World War II views, Japanese media such as anime became anti-American propaganda, glorifying the Japanese military and highlighting the tensions between American and Japanese values, ultimately revealing the inferiority of America in the eyes of the Japanese populace. Over time, the tensions between America and Japan decreased, and today, anime has changed to have less traces of anti-American sentiment. How did Japan's post-war views on America form? Firstly, the Meiji Restoration led to aggressive Japanese expansion in Asia and the Pacific. After a long period of isolation, Japan essentially established Emperor Mutsuhito in order to compete with the West. Between Emperor Mutsuhito, who strongly supported modernization along the Western lines, and the Great Depression, which shut down international trade, you could tell Japanese conquest was about to go down. Due to the Meiji Restoration, you had Sino-Japanese War from 1894 to 1895 and the Russo-Japanese War from 1904 to 1905. After the Great Depression, you had Japan invading Chinese cities like Manchuria and then Nanjing in 1937, where they attacked an American gunboat, killing three and wounding dozens. Japan also invaded French Indochina in 1940. The boat in Nanjing was the first hit on America, the initial event that prompted America to be involved. Japan then teamed up with Germany and Italy to make the Axis powers, who valued nationalism, had militaristic governments, and were obsessed with conquest. Since Germany and Italy had already declared war on America, Japan was essentially declaring war on America by joining them. America hurt the Japanese military by restricting some crucial items. And finally, President D. Roosevelt announced trade embargo on oil in July 1941. This is after Japan created the Axis powers and is also known as the final straw before the violence between Japan and America commenced. Since Japan relied on imports for 90% of its supply, the only option for Japan was a total war. So on December 7, 1941, Japan launched the Pearl Harbor attack, which damaged more than 300 aircraft and killed some 2,400 sailors at Pearl Harbor. America responded by declaring war on Japan on December 8, 1941, one day after the Pearl Harbor attack. Four years later, America dropped two atomic bombs on Hiroshima on August 6, 1945, killing 140,000 people by the end of that year. Japan had not planned to surrender, but this specific attack forced them to. The number of deaths from the bombing of Hiroshima was more than 50 times as much as the bombing of Pearl Harbor. In September 1945, Japan surrendered and continued to resent America. After the war, Japanese non-film propaganda and film propaganda was about to go down. The damage of the historical clash and atomic bombs were done, and the Japanese military was determined to portray America with no values, such as honor or courage, inferior to Japan whether they won or lost the war. Why was the Japanese propaganda effective? As Kushner states in his book regarding Japanese propaganda, Japanese government and military officials often linked hands with business leaders and executives to produce propaganda for the war effort. Being connected to media controllers allowed the Japanese government to create any beliefs within the Japanese populace. Moreover, the role of the Japanese populace was to maximize profits of the post-war economy, causing non-film propaganda to create new beliefs. Japanese consumers continued to spend, attending events and purchasing items such as propaganda. This process of consuming allowed new beliefs to form from varieties of propaganda. What specific beliefs were formed within the Japanese populace as a result of the propaganda? The propaganda led the Japanese populace to believe that A. the military would be effective and benefit Japan, and that B. America was inferior to Japan. Early animated films served as propaganda in the 1940s. In Momotaro no Umiwashi, Momotaro is the human leader of an animal navy fleet. This Japanese naval unit is depicted to have the values honor and courage because they carry out their mission, bombing Demon Island, aka Pearl Harbor, so that they can expand their territory.
The Japanese military was glorified in the eyes of the Japanese populace because they were victorious in the film. Specifically, Japanese children saw Japan as the winner of the battle, or the hero rightfully claiming his land. The values shown in the film were the values of Japan at the time. On a different note, Momotaro no Umiwashi also showed the downfall and weakness of America. America is represented by a drunk demon sailor, weak and unstable, not believing in neither honor nor courage, and finally drowning at the end while crying. In the eyes of the Japanese populace, America is the exact opposite of all Japanese values. Weak, crying while dying. During this period, Japan believed in dying with honor, and America was portrayed not to have this belief. In other words, the Japanese populace viewed America as inferior to Japan. The sequel of Momotaro no Umiwashi was Momotaro Umi no Shinpai, where an advanced Japanese team is invading a British fort and hints about America being their next target. They are once again depicted to have the values of honor and courage through the lyrics of their songs, and once again they carry out their mission so that they can expand their territory. Expanding their territory was a real value for Japan. Ensuring success and conquest further glorified the Japanese military in Japanese children's eyes. This film instilled hope in the Japanese populace whether or not they were winning the real war. What were some examples of non film propaganda? For instance, Appendix A shows Roosevelt, the U.S. president who announced trade embargo on oil, being demeaned in this piece of propaganda due to the U.S. flag being used violently as a weapon, stabbing a man in the stomach, which may have created anti-American sentiment in the Japanese populace. Appendix B is another example of anti-Roosevelt propaganda, along with fallen Japanese soldiers. It includes text that roughly states, We honor our fallen soldiers by pledging to avenge them. The crying child, fallen soldiers, and scowling Roosevelt may have instilled anger in the Japanese populace. This example also glorifies the military, who are shown to be dying with honor and courage. Appendix C is the third example of anti-Roosevelt propaganda, and it is also an anti-Churchill propaganda. The caption on the left states, Their true character is that of devils and beasts, which straightforwardly shows America's inferiority. Even without this caption, Roosevelt and Churchill are drawn in a beastly form. Appendix D is a very colorful and attractive leaflet that shows Filipino independence with Japanese and Filipino soldiers cheering. It shows the Japanese soldiers to be on the side of the Filipinos in order to promote the Japanese military in the eyes of the Filipinos. On the other hand, it degrades America in the eyes of the populace because of the caption, Japan's greatest joy is to give you the complete independence by defeating America, yours and our common enemy. How did the tensions between America and Japan decrease later on? Over time, the tensions between America and Japan decreased mainly due to America's occupation and construction and two treaties. From 1945 to 1952, the U.S. helped rehabilitate Japan. In 1951, a peace treaty was signed between Japan and the Allied Powers. And in 1960, a security treaty was signed between Japan and America that ensured protection of each other during a war. Both these treaties lessened the tensions between America and Japan, because America essentially gave Japan independence with the peace treaty. Currently, Japan and America are on good terms with each other. Why did Americans embrace Japanese anime around the 1990s? In his article about anime in the US, Oat Mazgan explains how the mid-1990s was the golden age of anime. After the first anime films by Seo Mitsuo had been released, anime started to change to have less traces of anti-American sentiment. In the mid-1950s, freed from much of the censorship in the newly established democratic Japan, anime developed into a widespread industry. Eventually, animes like Pokemon were a huge hit. In 2003, anime reached its peak in America at more than 4.84 billion US dollars. Aunt Maskin adds that anime specialist Rolling Celts thinks that at that time, young Americans were looking for new excitement and cultural products, which could be why it was successful. Moreover, Darling Wolf's book about anime and manga includes that US cultural historian Gary Cross observes that anime is foreign and thus cool to Western children. Either way, anime is now appreciated in America. A few examples of big hits being Pokemon, Sailor Moon, or Naruto and Naruto Shippuden. Moreover, Studio Ghibli and Pixar currently exchange ideas, which tells you how similar American media is to Japanese media. 
To wrap up, Japan's post-World War II views and historical clash with America caused the propaganda. The two things that allowed the propaganda to instill new beliefs in the population were the collaboration between the military, government, advertising executives, and the process of consuming. The propaganda glorified the military and degraded Americanism in the eyes of the Japanese populace. The tensions between America and Japan decreased over time, and today, Americans embrace anime.